Should you be eating this? Do you even know what this is? Perhaps you're already eating it. Today we're going to be talking about collagen. Now, to forewarn you, collagen is made out of a bunch of scary sounding chemicals. Numero uno is going to be glycine, and then there's another one called proline, and then a modified one called hydroxyproline. So what do those scary sounding chemicals do? Well, they actually form this skeletal structure you see here. They link up. Hydroxyproline actually forms the uh, main twists inside of these, this helix. It gives it the ability to twist. The other ones are support molecules. All together, they form up the most abundant protein in your body, which is, we already said it, a spoiler, damn it, is collagen. So what does collagen do in the body? Well, it helps form your bones, you, all the scaffolding for your organs, uh, your tendons, cartilage, and uh, more importantly, your skin. So when we come back to this, where do we get collagen from? Well, it's actually quite easy. If you are a meat or plant eater and you consume protein, uh, protein is broken down by chemical scissors that just kind of come in and uh, they snip these amino acids. That's what proteins are made out of. They just snip those off and absorb them right into your bloodstream. And from there, they go to the liver and they make it their way to the individual spots in your body to be reassembled as, well, a multitude of things, and in some cases, collagen. So that's what's going on anytime you eat a protein. You're having things that come in and break it down. Now you might say, well, why don't we just absorb it like this? Well, the reason for that is this is actually a very large molecule and it does not pass readily through your intestines. Now you might be asking yourself, do I need a supplement because collagen is all the rage these days? And you may note that you don't, you know, spend a lot of time chewing or eating tendons or maybe organ meat, that kind of stuff. Or, uh, you know, maybe you make bone broth. I don't know. Hopefully not out of little humans. But the point here is that your body actually can synthesize this. So if you are consuming all of your essential amino acids, if you don't know what that is, go look them up because you have to eat them. It means your body can't make them. But if you're, uh, if you're consuming those, your body can actually synthesize this molecule. Now, there is some evidence out there, it's relatively weak right now, that it might be worthwhile consuming collagen in a pure form, such as gelatin, or as in, in like an isolated hydrolyzed form. So that hydrolyzed just means that these are already broken down into amino acids before you eat it. And that's what those collagen powders are. Now is the time to ask questions if you got them.